Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. Uh, today I got a quick video on some marking compounds. I have some Brilliance and some Enduramark, both black, and they're both in the rattle cans. Uh, I've got a, two flasks here, some stainless steel flasks. Uh, I did go ahead and prepare the surface and go ahead and put the uh, compounds on. And I prepared the surface with denatured alcohol. Uh, you want to make sure that any grease, grime, dirt, anything is off of there. It needs to be perfectly clean. Preparation of the surface uh, prior to the application of the marking compound is critical. And uh, I applied a thin layer to both. And I'm going to move these cans out of the way so I don't knock them over. And so let's go over to Lightburn and see what we've got loaded. I do have a little test thing here, and I am using the power scale feature. And uh, we're going to go uh, in increments from 100 to 500 millimeters per second, and we're going to go from 10% to 90% power. Now, this is on my Nova 35 uh, 80 watt machine, so that's uh, a good reference point anyway for some of the others. You may have to dial it in for some of the other wattages, uh, play with the speed and power a little bit. But uh, so I've got this. I'm going to update the overlay and make sure that we're right. The cans are gone. That's okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and send this over to the machine. And we'll pull it up. Marking. Enter. And I'm going to frame it just to make sure it looks like we're pretty much on. Let me do that again. Looks like that one's a little too far to the left. I'm just going to cheat and scoot it over a little and we'll frame it again and see. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just close the lid and see how it goes. Now, I was um, pretty reckless with that marking compound. Uh, I got it all over. If you mask off your area, uh, you can minimize waste and uh, clean up, although this stuff, both products clean up very well. Um, typically, if I'm gonna do a lot of this, I'm gonna get the powder and not the rattle cans. Those are the least cost-effective of any method. Uh, the best way is to get an airbrush even if it's a cheap one uh, get an airbrush system and get the powder and you can de you can uh, use denatured alcohol uh, with that powder and mix it up and actually apply it with an airbrush that way you have a lot finer control of where it's going uh, as a matter of fact in the case right here i'm not going to do it but you can scrape that material off that's uh, not contaminated and put it back in the bottle uh, with the powder and then when you thin it back down with denatured alcohol, it'll work just fine So that's a little pro tip, but the rattle cans are uh, especially convenient Already it looks like the brilliance side is a lot darker of course We won't really know until we wipe it off I am using the same settings for both. Um, it's based off of the recommendations of the Enduramark, actually, I believe. Um, and I looked at some of the best practices that Brilliance has put out as well. And um, so we'll just kind of see. And again, you know, speed power, line interval, uh, all of those are rabbit holes, you know, um, they all, they all play together and uh, sometimes you got to do a little bit of trial and error um, to be able to get the settings just exactly the way you want them, but hopefully these will be close enough on both of these materials that we can make some uh, informed decisions as to speed and power and how it looks.
And I may be just way off on the Endurmark settings, but the brilliance um, is incredibly dark. Of course, that again, that probably won't mean anything until we clean them up and actually have a look at them. Okay, so let's have a look here. Actually, there's not a terrible amount of difference. So, it looks like just from this test, the Brilliance uh, really did a remarkable job. The Enduramark, not so much. And again, that may be because of the differences in speed and power. I need to do some more testing on this. It could also be that I need to clean this off because, yeah, here we go. See, it was being deceitful. I'm going to clean this off with some uh, denatured alcohol and I bet you that'll come back. That was just some of the leftover powder that was embedded into the Enduramark. The Enduramark actually did leave a black mark and it may be even darker than the Brilliance. So let me give this a wipe here and I'll get a, a close-up of this after I get it all cleaned up. Yeah, actually the Enduramark did do quite well. So I'll clean these up a little bit more and I'll take a couple of up close stills on there. And again, this is my very first, you know, this was a shot in the dark. Um, and it seems that all of the settings in that range um, left a nice black mark. It looks like you want to keep your power um, somewhere around on this. This is 80 watt now, you know, somewhere around 40 or 50 percent. And your speed, you want to keep it at 300 or below because at 400 and 500, um, it looks like it started to not really adhere very well or bond to the steel. So, this is the Brilliance, and the Vector actually did really well. So this is 500 millimeters per second, and this is a 0 0.08 line interval, and that's 10% power, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So, and then let's see, 400, power there's 300 now 300 actually looks really really good it's hard for me to do this on here I guess I should probably do it this way but it's going to be sideways if I do that um, and let's take a look at the Enduramark if you'll notice on the 500 millimeter per second let me do it this way on the uh, 500 millimeter per second you see how that is it didn't do very well at all and that could have been some place where I missed but I don't think so you'll see how it starts getting better uh, when you go up with the power so I think that was a power issue but uh, both of these had some decent results it looks like brilliance is just a little bit darker 
So there's a little quick and easy on the comparison between Enduramark and Brilliance. It looks like Brilliance was the winner, at least in this case. Of course, I just gave it one shot. Uh, I'm sure if I dial these settings in, uh, I'm sure both of them will be just fine. But uh, all in all, it's a pretty close race. I think either one of the products would be just fine to use. So I hope that helps. And until next time, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. Have a good day.